Mal acabou a E3 e eu já tô de volta aqui em Los Angeles, na Califórnia, para trazer para vocês mais um programa especial. Como a Bandai Namco é referência quando o assunto é games e anime, a gente veio conferir um dos maiores eventos de anime do mundo, o Anime Expo. Eu sou a Miriam e tá começando aqui mais um Bandai Namco Now. O Anime Expo acontece todo ano e é o lugar onde os fãs de cultura japonesa se encontram. Eu não pude deixar de conversar com os cosplayers, que sem dúvida são a maior atração por aqui. Hey Z, I really like your Madara cosplay. It's awesome. Did you, did you make it by yourself? Yes, I worked on it myself. I, uh, this is from cotton. At first I used wood and uh, aluminum, but it got too heavy for me. So I changed it to cotton and just simple like fabrics, make it light and easy. E then it's pretty breezy, so I'm not really that hot. Even though I might look that I'm hot, I'm not really that hot. So yeah, I love this cosplay. And now look who we found here, Sasuke. How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> how did you did you made it by yourself? How was the process? Yeah, definitely. I made it by myself. Like I literally, you know, made it from like scratch. I bought like a fabric from the fabric stores, and I literally just sew them and stuff like that. You sew it. I did, I did. did. But did you know how to do that before or did you learn for to do the, the cosplay? Well, like literally, like, you know, uh, as I, you know, started doing cosplay and stuff like that, that's when I started getting into, like, you know, sewing, running how to sew and, like, you know, you know, literally, like, mix from scratch and stuff like that. So I've been doing it for, like, a couple years already. So I, you could say somewhat, I do have a little bit of experience. Now we have here Frieza and Cell. And in real life, you two are twins, right? Yes, identical. <laughs> and did you help each other to, to make the, the cosplays? Yeah, I basically like had to put all of her arm pieces on for her because she can't do anything herself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we basically, um, she does a lot of the sewing and then I've done, I did a lot of the buying actually. <laughs> and then a lot of the crafting. So we kind of just do stuff together. I order stuff online, order the makeup and all that stuff. So yeah, it's a team effort. <laughs> And how long did it take to, to make the two costumes? Months. Uh, I started like probably took me about two months to make this bodysuit. I had to like redo it a whole bunch of times so it actually fit me. Um, and then hers took forever, like a long process. It's actually the uh, second I had to like redo a lot of the pieces because the first con that we went to in Phoenix, because we're actually from Arizona, uh, They, they kind of got ruined in the sun, so we had to redo some pieces, but we're just gonna keep making them better. That's kind of the, the thing. And I'm gonna ask you about your lenses, because it's awesome. These red lenses are awesome. <laughs> Did it hurt or something? Because you stay a lot of hours with the... Yeah, uh, by the end of the day, they're a little dried out, and I have to take them out. I wore them out one night, and by the end of the night, I was like crying so much there. But they're actually really cool. They glow in the dark, which I think is why they're so vibrant, but they're fun. You know, it's worth it. Anything for the cosplay. Of <laughs> A Bandai Namco também trouxe várias novidades aqui para o Anime Expo, como esse Genki Dama gigante que está fazendo bastante sucesso entre os fãs de Dragon Ball. Agora eu estou aqui com o Jason, que é o diretor de marketing da América Latina. Jason, o que a Bandai Namco está trazendo de novidade aqui para o Anime Expo? Well, for all the fans of Brazil, uh, aside from the Genki Dama big display in our booth, we've got a lot of great new games. Uh, first time showing Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 playable. Uh, and if you haven't been paying attention, we announced a really cool partnership with Steve Aoki. Definitely check that out if you haven't. Big news. Big news. Also, we've got uh, new playables on God Eater 2 Rage Burst, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven, and also uh, Sword Art Online, um, Hollow Realization. We were doing um, uh, signings uh, with producers from both Sword Art Online as well as God Eater series. We've got our own store that's selling really cool merchandise for the fans. And right behind me, we've got broadcasting all days of the show. Maybe you've already been tuning in. We've got nonstop tournaments for Tekken 7, 
Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storms, four Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and even One Piece Burning Blood. Lots and lots of stuff happening here at Anime Expo. It's insane. Cosplayers galore, fans everywhere, people just celebrating their love for Bandai Namco and their love for anime. It's been awesome. So, what's the best cosplay you saw here? Oh, wow. Um, geez. Uh, <laughs> there are so many amazing costumes. I mean, the fans spend months uh, planning the costumes, getting ready for Anime Expo. I mean, it's the passion and the, the, the creativity and the dedication to making the costumes. It's really hard for me to pick a favorite because some people really just go all out with amazing effects and 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 like makeup and 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 build these armors and and everything and then some people do like really kind of like more like handcraft approach like more simple but but for that character it works perfectly like you know if it's an anime character in a in a in a uniform you can do it a lot more simple than some of these like more crazy ones but i have to give a big big applaud to the fans because every year I come to Anime Expo and every year I'm so stunned and surprised by what I see. It's hard to, it's hard to pick a, a favorite. Galera, eu adorei a Anime Expo. Eu me diverti muito por aqui e tive várias ideias de cosplays, hein? Qual personagem da Bandai Namco vocês acham que ficaria bem em mim? Deixa a sugestão aqui nos comentários, quem sabe a gente não faz em algum programa. Muito obrigado por terem me acompanhado em mais uma cobertura exclusiva e até o próximo Banda Nanconal. Tchau!